Stephen Finn once more excelled with the ball to lead his side to a vital Vitality Blast victory over Hampshire by 20 runs at Lords. Batting first after winning the toss, Max Holden and Stevie Eskenazi made a solid start before the latter exploded into action, twice dispatching Shaheen Afridi into the distance. The country's leading run scorer in this season's T20, continuing his excellent form. Alas, he lost Holden as his partner midway through the fourth over with a score on 33, the batsman on his way for a dozen. The remainder of the power play brought no boundaries, Middlesex ending it on 43 for one. Indeed, this four by Dan Lincoln was the only one in the space of eight overs. Eskenazi became a little stuck before departing at the hands of Mason Crane, gone for 33, as his side stuttered to a score of 68 for two at the halfway stage of their innings. A rethink regarding what a good total would be had to be done once Lincoln hauled out off Crane after making 19. Jack Davies on his Lord's debut tried as best as he could to get the scoreboard ticking over only to be run out by Ryan Stevenson after making a pleasing 23. Martin Anderson followed for 12, Middlesex entering the last two overs of their innings on 121 for five. A big finish was required and John Simpson helped the cause no end with this strike. But Tom Helm was out to the last ball, the home team having to settle for a final score of 142 for six, Simpson ending on a very handy 30 from 19 balls. And batting was no easier for Hampshire, who was soon up against it, thanks to Helm, who first had James Vince taken behind, while next ball, Sam Northeast fended to Eskenazi at slip. Simpson then produced a bit of magic, a superb legside stumping off a Tim Murta wide, a very rare occurrence indeed, which left Hampshire on 11 for three in the fourth over. Former Middlesex man James Fuller now came to the crease and a couple of boundaries saw his team end the six overs of power play on 37 for three. Fuller, with help from Tom Olsop, began to produce the kind of partnership to frustrate Middlesex batting had suddenly become a little easier on this sluggish pitch and these two took advantage by carrying the total to 66 for three at the halfway point of the chase, another 77 required. Middlesex needed a wicket and Murta in his first blast game for four years got it, Fuller plugging his last ball to long on, the bowler ending with figures of two for 20, Fuller out for 34. That left the visitors needing 60 from seven overs and also pulled Miguel Cummins over the rope to make the task that much easier. The game though turned Middlesex's way courtesy of some brilliant fielding off his own bowling by Nathan Souter, a glorious grab which had Alsop on his way for 43. With two new batsmen in, the total read 100 for five with five overs remaining. 43 more were wanted and Finn had Ian Holland take it behind for his 10th wicket of the campaign. And the skipper moved to the top of the wicket-taking charts when Lewis McManus found Souter on the boundary. Hampshire now seven down and needing 30 of 17 balls. Next ball and it was another for Finn. Chris Wood holding out to put Middlesex on the verge of a crucial win. Their captain ending with three for 27. Simpson then celebrated the start of the new football season with some very handy footwork to run out Crane, a wicket which just about confirmed the victory. And indeed it was all over next ball. Finn finishing off a fine night for him with the catch. Middlesex in the end, winning with a fair amount of comfort. Hampshire were all out for 123 with seven balls unused for Middlesex to collect two very important points, the margin of victory being 20 runs. They go again on Monday evening at the home of cricket against Surrey.